there is um there are quite a bit of rumors there are quite a bit of comments there are quite a bit of things that i'm just to to clear up right now yes it's real i'm about to get exposed for the horrible piece of shit that i am damn <laughs> it's not 30 seconds yet youtube's going to demonetize this thing but who cares <laughs> so um Yes, you know, I've been re-editing the, the Acolyte uh, as of late. I've been posting my, my progress. I keep doing live edits. So if you want to watch those live edits, remember that you can you can um, just subscribe and click the notifications and you'll see whenever I, I go live, you can watch the re-edits and only the channel members will be able to replay those live streams. But other than that, it's free to watch. Now, with that said, there's been a lot of comments and criticisms and uh, and just overall discussion that has been populating my feed that I just want to address, that I want to make sure that, A, we're on the same page on this because I do feel that it's important to, to let you know where I am, where I stand, what I think, yada, 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 and that you, you, the beautiful audience, is being heard. And yes, I hear you loud and clear. So let's begin with a comment that I get uh, very often, which is, you lying piece of shit. You've never, you never finished The Last Jedi re-edit. All right, you dwelling fucking golem. Let me, let me tell you. Uh, I did finish The Last Jedi re-edit. The fact that I had videos like with big giant arrows, just like here is the edit. This is where you can watch it. I had them for three years up on this channel and you didn't bother to watch it. It's not my fault that you're such a, <laughs> you're an idiot. Like um, even a 10 minute Google search will give you my edit. It's out there. I put it as a file out in the fucking internet for, for everyone to see. So people even have it. People have burned it into Blu-rays and DVDs. So it's not my fault that you're just lazy, you know? So don't blame me for your incompetence. I did finish it. Following that question is, why did I never finish the fight? Um, because, yes, I, I admit it, I'm guilty. I did promise that I was going to do a... Luke Skywalker versus Kylo Ren lightsaber fight for my Last Jedi re-edit. And some people call it, that's the only thing that made it special and that's why they followed it and yada, 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 yada. The reason why I didn't do the fight is because of you, the audience. <laughs> Obviously not all of you, like let me be clear, not all of you, but a good amount of people back in the day were uh, very insufferable. They were like very fucking nasty. And back then, I cared too much for the audience. I cared a lot for you guys. And I was really trying to give you something that you would be very happy with and something that I would be very proud of giving. And the, the, the re-edit grew to be something way bigger than I expected. I expected like 10 people to be like, yeah, you know, well, you're doing this thing. But it blew up and, and I wasn't mentally or emotionally ready to carry the baggage that it comes with. So having a lot of people call you a scammer, uh, a liar, um, and just like send you death threats or nasty comments all the time, just because you're not doing the thing they want you to do fast enough it was it was painful it was really painful it was one of the most miserable times i've ever had as a human being and it all thanks to the star wars fandom even if i was technically on your side you tr you, you treated me the way you treat other hollywood actors and people and you know you demanded things from me the way you would demand them online and i'm not saying i'm saying you as like whoever is you know that is watching knows 
that did that back in the day. I'm not saying like all of you, you know, just just so don't think that I see you all in the light that I see that specific group of assholes, you know. Um, so because of that, because um, all, all those comments, all that nastiness, all that stress, I was just like, fuck you, I'm done. Like clearly this like they like some people couldn't understand that i had a job at the time um and my friend steven had a job and we were butting heads it was creating like a division in our friendship uh we needed to get a special effects person we needed to get um a green screen we needed to get so many things and and we were getting them but when you don't have the backing of a major production, getting those things in a week, it's like fucking difficult. So we were not doing it fast enough for you. And because of that, it it, it became such a drag. So I decided to say, fuck it. I released the, the edit the way I had it. And I decided to kill the lightsaber fight. My friendship with Steven is stronger than ever now, uh, and I'm glad I did it because I'm friends with him and I'm not friends with the thousands of people that would uh, insult me every fucking day for not giving them the, the, the dick writing that they thought they deserve. So because of that, I decided to not do the fight. So again, I'm not saying that it was all of you, but it was a good portion of the audience back then that led me to say, fuck this, I'm done, I'm out, I'm out ski, bye bye. So there's the reason why the fight never came and why I never wanted to pursue it again. Next, uh, and this is the actual reason for this video, is then the other comment that I get very often, which is, why are you wasting your time doing this shit? Why are you wasting your time re-editing the Acolyte? Why are you polishing a turd? Because at the end of the day, a turd is a turd. If you're one of those people that comment that, just know that you are like a dime in a dozen. Like everyone fucking comments that. <laughs> and just know that I I just read them and I'm like, all right. <laughs> all right, what do you want me to do? The main difference between Ivan of today and Ivan from The Last Jedi is because Ivan from The Last Jedi re-edit cared a lot about the audience. Ivan from today doesn't care that much, barely anything. I care for the people that believe in me. I care for the people that are nice. Uh, even if you don't agree with the things that I do, even if you um, don't really like think that this is possible but you're just like an average nice person then good this thing is for you if you're just a nasty asshole then trust me i couldn't care less about your existence but this person is not an asshole and actually um commented in a very respectful manner which a lot of you clearly were not raised by a mexican mother or you would have better vocabulary or manners so let me read to you what this person said uh, hi ivan i love your passion but i don't understand why you try to edit a show that no one wants to watch again and try to forget instead of delivering the lightsaber fight that everybody was eager to see uh and this person is uh christopher christoph maxim 337 so um I, I i responded to the lightsaber fight so there's there's your answer and and i responded saying uh to your question on why edit the show is because i feel like it um now he did a follow-up comment to to that to that to that answer so here it is thank you for answering I have a tone of respect for you as a human being. You're a tough guy full of good of good intentions. I respect your decisions, but I can't help myself to think that you deserve better. Thank you. Your edit arts uh, your edits are smart, even though I don't agree with everything. My experience tells me that trying to fix crap would always lead you to end up with a less smelly crap with lipstick. You can turn it how you want to. A crap with lipstick, it's still crap. 
The way to go for your sake is to fix a decent show and make it better. Why not The Mandalorian or Ender who are full of imperfections? I wish you the best, Ivan. So first of all, thank you so much for not being a um, an asshole about commenting because a lot of people do comment technically the same thing, but they're just like, um, just way disrespectful about it, way more disrespectful about it. So uh, my answer to that is simple. Two reasons. Two big reasons. Reason number one is because I feel like it. What do I mean by that? Because I saw this show and I was like, I see potential in this show. So I want to bring out that potential. Why not do something that is already easier? It's well, if I do something that is easier, like re-editing Andor, which is already good from from what I heard, because uh, I haven't watched Andor. If I if I re-edit something 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 that is already good into something better, then I'm not challenging myself. That means that I'm not creative enough, or that means that I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. Maybe for the views, maybe for this, maybe for that. But it wouldn't have the purpose that I think this thing has. That's why I say I feel like it. Because I I want to challenge myself. I took, at the time, The Last Jedi, the, the worst thing Star Wars had ever produced, um, and turned it into something watchable. What am I doing now? I'm grabbing the worst thing that Star Wars has produced and I'm turning it into something watchable. Uh, this is not the worst Star Wars thing. I think that is The Rise of Skywalker. But um, this is very close. Like, this show is abysmal. But I think, like, challenging myself and challenge my creativity to make this will only make me a better editor. And guess what I am? I'm an editor. I make this for a living, not YouTube. You, I couldn't care less about YouTube, but I edit films for a living. So doing these things challenge me. So whenever like new films come around and I get the scripts, I already have like a better equipment to edit something even better because they shot it right or this or that. And I've, trust me, in recent memory, there's some films that I've been challenged with that I'm like, damn, how am I going to do this? And it, are things like this, exercises like this, that help me to just make something even better and just like, oh, let me tackle it. Oh, this is good. I'm doing this. So, um, so yeah, I wanted to do it for, for myself. Also because, like I said, I saw potential in this thing. I did see potential to make something good. I'm like, you know what? I can I, I can do it. Whether I succeed or whether, whether I fall, it's up to me. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go out swinging. And to the second, to the second point that a crap will always be crap, well, then don't watch it. I think a lot of people are already turned off of me fixing the Acolyte because they will associate the original with this. Regardless, I can make something like absolutely perfect that even George Lucas can just like come and be like, dude, let you need to work for me right now. That was the best thing ever. And some people just because of the association with the original, they're just not going to like it. And that's fine. That's okay. Um, wasting my time on this is not a waste of time for me. And like I said, the difference between The Last Jedi Ivan to The Acolyte Ivan is that Ivan doesn't give a fuck. The Acolyte Ivan doesn't really care for um, pleasing the overall audience. I am making something that I will be proud of to my Star Wars standards. If you happen to match my Star Wars standards, my, my Star Wars likes and dislikes, and you're like, dude, yeah, you are in line with what I like, then you're probably going to enjoy it. 
but if you are expecting something like magical that we that will be like absolutely different and majestic and that you say like no i want it i wanted to see a fight between dark plagueis and yoda then just <laughs> no i'm re-editing the acolyte to make the acolyte good but I am not going to make the Acolyte not the Acolyte. You know what I mean? Let me explain. I am looking at this and I'm trying to elevate the characters. You might hate Osha and May and Smile or Ren and you might hate them. Okay. Well, I am not going to be blinded by the negativity because I want to elevate the, 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 the characters. I want to make a good experience for people. I do want to re-edit this thing for the, the people that will enjoy it, uh, prim primarily me. <laughs> so if you happen to like it, great. That's why I put the fixes so you see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. If you end up being like, oh, you know what, I, I just don't like it, great, move on. But if you like the process and you're enjoying the lag, the, 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 the fixes that I'm doing, fantastic. Come and hold my hand on this journey and we're going to see it through together. That's it. So that's why I'm deciding to waste my time with this turd because it's challenging and nothing excites me more than a challenge. And is it going to be easy? No but i'm not a person that looks for the easy way out that's just not the way i was raised and number two um i'm doing this for for me i'm, I'm doing this because i want to that's it if you happen to like it great if you happen not to like it great Trust me, I am not making a living off of this. But maybe this can bring a little bit of joy to the Star Wars fandom. And even if it brings it to just 10 people, I'll be okay. That's it. Bye.